so I'm in Germany. Me and Josh have just got here. I'm going to show you around the church that we're going to be at for this weekend. Have a look. Where we're going to be this weekend. Uh, I'm doing a talk in a few hours. I'm going to talk about creativity, what that means uh, as a Christian, and how we can uh, continue to tell God's story through the creative arts. Um, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, see you in a bit. So we are preparing for Mike's workshop, I'm really looking forward to it uh, and you guys will see more of him soon. Hi guys, so it's day three. Um, I did an update yesterday but this is what happened. So I basically forgot to change the settings on my camera so the microphone didn't pick anything up. So today I've made sure I've double checked this is working. As I explained in my video yesterday that didn't work, um, I was saying that I'd just done my, uh, my workshop on creativity. It went really, really well. People really engaged. Um, we did a great activity at the end where people tried to use a creative way of showing their story of them and God um, throughout their whole life. People really, really took to it and they used a lot of creative ways to do that. We had people acting it out, people who wrote song lyrics, people who wrote poems, um, people, someone did a really powerful spoken word. I drew a couple of cartoons which <laughs> were very weird and I'll show you them in a bit um, and I might try and explain them to you. Um, so yeah, this is day three. Here's what we've been up to today as well. This is where we are. We're in a place called Weibelingen. Stuttgart is over there. And we're here. Hi right, guys, it's Saturday afternoon. We've just come down into the middle of the town and um, found this skate park right here. Um, we're just chatting to these really cool guys. Um, they're showing us their tricks. Josh has had to go on their skateboard. Um, yeah, we'll just come down here to hand out some drinks. Yeah, just hang out and uh, see what they're about. We've got the drone out. It's up there somewhere. Might be coming in. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so just have a look at what we've been doing and check out some of these kids' uh, really cool tricks. Guys, look what I found all the way here in Germany. Hey! 
That's so cool. <laughs> A lot of flies around. Mm. So today's been a very busy day, we've, uh, as you've seen we went to the skate park today, Josh spoke this morning, we did uh, had a great time at the uh, at the conference um, and then this evening we just had a barbecue as you hopefully would have seen if I've managed to get the footage from the guys here. Um, we had a barbecue, we played some sports outside, I'm very very hot, very very warm, um, but all in all a really good day. German barbecue is amazing, um, so yeah. I'm See you tomorrow. So it's day four, um, me and Josh are about to go home, we just finished. Um, yeah, so as I've been saying, the reason why uh, I came on this trip with Josh was to do a workshop on creativity. And so I just wanted to share briefly what it was I was talking about. So I believe that creativity is really important. I believe that as a Christian it's, it's a gift that I've been given to use to tell my story of what God's done in my life. Um, and to tell the story of what God has been doing throughout history. Um, whether you agree with me or not, that is absolutely fine. Um, but the Bible um, begins with the words, in the beginning God created. It goes into this um, amazing poem of how God created the world. It says that God made man in his own image. Um, and I don't think that is based on appearance, obviously, because everybody looks different, so that would be very confusing for everybody. Um, but, yeah, I believe God made man in his own image. He put his characteristics, and one of those, which is the first char characteristic that's mentioned in the Bible, is that he is creative, that he creates, and that that characteristic is now in us. And we can use that to create beauty, create stories, and to continue to tell people about what God has done, and to show people the beauty in the world. Um, in a time where things are a bit shaky. Yeah, so what we did in my uh, workshop was we had an activity at the end which was for people to try and show their story of them and God from birth to now. On the first day my picture was a picture of this little boy um, standing in front of this mountain and then the next picture is a picture of him looking behind him and you see just the hand of God in the corner just giving him this little hammer um, and then the boy holding the hammer is the next picture. He, but he's looking at the mountain holding this hammer and then uh, he walks up to it, he stands in front of this mountain with a hammer and then the next picture is he gives the, gives the mountain just a big whack with his hammer and then the mountain falls down and then the last picture is this little boy walking over the rubble. I didn't know what I was drawing at the time, uh, I was just drawing it and then God revealed to me what it was about when I finished and about how um, there's a story in my life where God has been giving me gifts, been giving me tools that I need in order to uh, get over the things that uh, I come across in, in my life and I believe that God gives me and gives us gifts that we need and tools that we need in certain times to be able to overcome. But the, the thing with the, with the different pictures is God showing me something different for each one. Um, and that we can often just stand there, like in the first picture, and just stare at the mountain and not do anything about it. Just look at it and that becomes all we can see. And then we have these gifts that we see God giving, it, giving us, but we don't necessarily take hold of them. They're just there and we just look at them and we go, oh, that's nice. And then the next picture, holding it, and you're holding it but not doing anything with it. I don't know, if you're musical, you've maybe tried um, playing the guitar a little bit in your room, but it's not being used to 
do anything with it. And then the next picture, um, we use this hammer to just hit the wall. And obviously in our own strength, I can't knock down a mountain with a little hammer. Um, but I believe that it's, uh, it's God that gives me strength in these, in these times and that he emphasizes the gifts that he's given us. And then the next picture is we start to see this mountain come down and often we can just, we can see the rubble, we can see the, that it's been knocked down but then we don't take advantage of that, we don't move forward and move on to the next bit. We can just stand there and focus on, focus on the rubble in front of us and stay celebrating that rather than moving on to the next point. Um, yeah, so this next picture is of this little boy walking over the rubble and kind of claiming the ground, as it were. So we've knocked over this mountain, it's now, it's gone, it's out of the way. And we can move on onto the next thing and then God will give us the next tools that we need to overcome the next thing and maybe we'll get a bigger hammer or... <laughs> um, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I believe that what God's been doing in me, in my life, with these gifts is to begin with, He gave me this gift of... Uh, of music. I've been in band since I was 11 years old and God's been growing this gift of music in me. And so I've, I've used that, I've written songs, I'm still using that today. And that's become almost second nature to me to be able to be musical, to be creative musically. And then, then God's grown other gifts in me, like to be able to draw, um, not from this cartoon, don't judge my drawing on the cartoon, <laughs> that was done in 10 minutes. And he's helped me use that to get past issues like with at work I needed to try and connect a bit more with my uh, work colleagues um, and there was an art club so I got involved in the art club there and that that was the, the tool that I needed to take hold of to get rid of the feeling maybe a little bit isolated and not really knowing the people who I work with. Now it's things like photography and video that I feel like God is trying to uh, encourage me to use more to help me get over my self-confidence and my ability to publicly speak to people and to talk to people. I'm used to being the other side of the camera, but to be this side and to be able to try and talk to people and to hopefully grow my confidence, I feel like this is the mountain right now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, me and Josh are about to go home. Any questions or any thoughts, just leave them in the comments. <laughs> it's my first time, so please be nice. Um, uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video.